Okay, let's start the show here. Uh oh, my late night show. So why don't I begin? You know, I made a promise to myself that I didn't keep. Was that when I accomplished my goal? I think you know what my goal was on a particular individual. At this point, the information that I put together more currently is that well, let's. Let's just talk about the person, Barry Lee Jordan,、uh, somebody I worked on for a really long time, but a passion, an absolute passion. Because I don't feel it's right to label people things that they're not. That's not who I am. Sure, we falter along the way. We get again caught up in that vortex. I don't want to be like anybody else on here. I'm so far from that. That there's no words to describe it. However, I had a goal, and the goal was to see justice for Mr. Jordan. He's been in jail. Getting close to three and a half months now, and from all the information I've ascertained on his case and upcoming, and people still don't believe that there's five counts against him, but that's <laughs> more of a wishful thinking with some folks on there than the actual reality of what's going on. He does.、Uh, Barry is paying for his crimes, and、uh, it's a very satisfying experience for me. I can't even put it in words, and I'm a person with a lot of words. And I made a promise to myself that I didn't keep. Well, I made a promise that I would seek justice on him, and rightfully so. Friend or foe out there, you know Barry did wrong. I don't think there's anybody out there that's going to disagree and say that Barry went just way over. He just went way over. That was it. You know,、uh, hardly so. Hardly so to your answer on that. Hardly so. I'm not intimidated by anybody on here. That's why I've been on here for seven and a half years. So. That's your answer to that. Okay, Barry ain't going nowhere anytime soon. I would certainly imagine, unless there's some divine intervention, which I'm not thinking at this point that there is. Barry is suffering at the hands of the Philippines government, as he should. As I said, friend or foe out there, I don't think there's anybody that disagrees that Barry should be where he is, if not a lot more. I think we、we'll、all agree on that. With that being said, I guess I'm very happy and proud to say that I accomplished my goal. Accomplished my goal. He deserves a lot more than that, and he'll probably get a lot more than that. As I said, lest to some divine intervention or some kind of skull duggery, we won't go into what I refer to as skull duggery in his case. If everything goes as planned, well, my job is done. I accomplished to knock that smirk off his face, which I did. This picture will be on my wall as a reminder that when you do shit like this, you can't always get away with it. Now, a true criminal, he defines. Now it's very easy to label people as this and that, because it makes you feel good, but that's not always the reality. I know you'd like to think it that way, but it's not the reality. Now I don't plan to be on here until I'm fucking eighty years old. I know we have a few people on here that they're in their eighties or they look like they're in their eighties. I mean, you know, I just can't see that. <laughs> I think my run is over. Has nothing to do with fear of other trolls. Shit, I've been through this for seven and a half years. There's no fear factor involved here whatsoever. Not at all. This shit's been going on for seven and a half fucking years. Seven and a half fucking years. Sometimes you got to say enough is enough. Move on, McDuff. You know, move on, McDuff. I'm the only one. On here, who was able to accomplish what he set out to do? Everybody was too afraid to approach the Barry Jordan situation because it represented entertainment value. Entertainment value. Barry is learning the hard way, and perhaps there will be others that will learn the hard way. That's up to your own God. It's up to karma. It's up to the law, and it's up to people who give a damn to put an end to some bullshit on here. But they just said enough is enough.、You、accomplished your goal, which I did. I'll be real honest. I had my doubts in the beginning because the truth is, well, Allah was right about one thing. That's for sure. Slim to none chance of ever getting somebody's case into a courtroom. It's just difficult. We're dealing with the Philippines out here, and I can attest for a lot of disappointments that I've had in regards to even his case. Now we got all these kiss-ups on there, like Michael Fazio, who will jump any fence. To get the attention of anybody that would listen to him, he's a very lonely man. We have a lot of lonely people out there, but you see, that's not my doing, and it's not my responsibility to cure your loneliness and your misery. It's not my responsibility. Hey, I, I just come on to do a show, and you know, tune out, tune in. Everybody's got that ability to do that, but you come back. All the time. So I guess my show has had some value through the years, or else I wouldn't have lasted seven and a half years. You say that with、uh, 
absolute uh, certainty. But as I said, when I accomplished my goal and some of the new information that I have received today pretty much tells me that it's going even further than I thought it would and everything I had hoped for to bring justice to this creep. Well, I kind of think that's going to happen. And that's the last word I got on this. So mission accomplished, I guess. And, you know, even if some divine miracle happened, an intervention, he still spent almost three and a half months in jail. So that's a hell of a howdy duty to somebody. Don't you think? He knows the crimes he did, and he's paying for them. And guess what? In or out of jail, he's got to live with himself the rest of his life, how long or short it might be. That's a fact. He knows what he did. He knows the women that he's actually really harmed. Not hearsay, not because I don't like you, so I'll make up a story about you. No, he committed all these crimes. There was no doubt about it whatsoever in this case. Trying to get people against other people, there's really nothing to accomplish on there. If there's no fact, then it's all fiction. Just to use as entertainment and drama. You gotta be suffering a lot of problems yourself to be able to go to the length that some people do on here. But you see, that's not my problem. Whatever your personal problems are, are not mine. They're yours. Be happy for people that got their shit together. You could be envious. It's a human emotion. You could be jealous. And maybe that's what triggers some people off. I can't go case by case and tell you the psychological problems that a lot of people on YouTube have. But that's pretty extensive. I don't have the ability to do that, nor do I have the pedigree to do that. But I can tell you that I've dealt with a lot of mental illness on here. A lot of mental illness. I was watching a movie with Robert De Niro and uh, Robin Williams. And what was the title of that? A lot of these patients were catatonic, had like encephalitis and other things going on. And Robin Williams figured with some L dopamine treatment, could possibly get them out of this. So a lot of these people could have been much as 30 years, they were in this pretty much a catatonic state. They got out of this catatonic state. They were feeling life again. They were feeling like they were 20, 30 years ago. Singing, walking, joking, conversing with other patients. Small miracle. Getting their life back and then having to, well, unfortunately for a short period of time, had to realize that they were like 20, 30 years into the future. They got their life back, but they had lost a lot. And that's kind of the way I've seen it on YouTube. A lot of people are losing a lot of their life on here when they spend as much time as they do. And you might think I spend a lot of time on here. To me, it was a hobby. Not a need, but a hobby. But to some people, it's their whole life. I'm not one of them. Fortunately for me, I do have a life. And I'm sorry for using that expression again, that I got my ducks in a row. But actually, I do. I'm very happy for that. I'm very fortunate. Whether I live another year, 10 years, 25 years, that's up to someone called God. If there is a God, it's up to karma. It's up to genetics and how I take care of myself for the rest of my life. But to subject myself to such buffoonery, to such miserable people that I've ever experienced in my entire life, people who have exhibited mental illness without question, without question at all, the hate that's on here. But it's the haters that like to project to others that they're not the haters, it's everybody else. But it's not them, of course. I've seen people go to extreme measures on here that could be made for a movie of the week TV show. And maybe even then people would think it would be fiction. No, it's not fiction. It's reality. So I made a promise that Mr. Barry Lee Jordan goes by many names. Made many deserved names. Is in his place like a caged animal where he belongs. No, I don't wish well for Barry and for good reason. You're not in my shoes. And if you were, maybe you'd feel a little bit differently, but you're not. You have a family you care about and love. Come on, let people attack your family. Let people call you a child predator. Let people threaten your life. See how it feels. How did I explain that? I think you know the whole story in spades. But I made a promise that once I've achieved my goal, which I'm very happy to say, and after hard work, a lot of stress doing it, a little bit of money spent, time and effort, I achieved my goal. Something that nobody else was able to do on here. Because a lot of people were cowards. They wanted everybody to do dare, you know, dirty work. I wasn't afraid to do that. Now, for me to last seven and a half years on YouTube, that's quite a phenom. Apparently, my skin is not that thin. Nobody ever chased me off YouTube, and they never will. I said, when well, it's time for me to stop blogging, that's what's going to happen. Okay. Through the advice of my attorney, and through my own conscience, and my own decision, my decision. Mind you, not influenced by any YouTuber on here. 
not influenced by any hate channel. I'm not intimidated by anybody on here, and I've proved that a thousand times. I think those that have done wrong on here, and they continue to do wrong, even without me in the picture, their time is going to come. It's inevitable. It's not if, it's when. That's the difference. So, whatever shows I have on there, they're on. This is my last show. Now, I know you've heard this about probably, I don't know, 90 times since I've been on here, but I think it has to come to time. And I don't feel like being a YouTuber well into my 70s or more. I couldn't see myself doing that when there's really not much personal gain to begin with. I could see if I was making a ton of money on here, but you know, it still wouldn't be worth it. I don't need the money from revenue on here. I don't need the money from Super Chat, even when it's enabled. I just don't need it that bad. Or at all. I'm fortunate to say that I'm okay. In some way, this actually has been an experiment to me. I never thought it would go that far. I've seen the worst side of people that I've never seen before in my life. I've seen the ugly side of people. Self-righteous, walking, talking abortions that have no purpose on this earth whatsoever. People who are not enjoying their own lives, but they want to point out fault with other people. And they need to find a target. Well, I was a good target. I made for good banter. I was always a good challenge. Hell, I was. Hell, I was. Some people didn't like that. Nobody's getting me off YouTube. I'm going to make that clear. Nobody. I told you it's going to come a time when I'm going to basically say that, hey, I achieved. Okay. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> She'll actually read that. John Blaze of Philippines is really. Oh, we need you, Frank. Aloe needs and loves you. Create another vortex and go full send go scorched earth on everyone. Nah, no thank you. I've done a good job of that already. Actually, you know what? I did. In Allo's own words, you're not gonna do nothing with Frank on YouTube. We never been able to do it, we will never able to be able to do it. I think it's come to that time when fun and games are over. It meant so much to me. I don't even think so, huh, Salty Troll? Well, my show will be on. Doesn't mean I'll be doing any shows then. Roach King, the Roach King. Who's the Roach King? Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> if you're referring to Barry, no, there's no stop on that. That is going to continue. And I want to put my energy into that. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not addressing any other issues on here. That's not what I'm saying. There's a movie called Go Silent, Go Deep. It was a submarine movie, actually. I actually remember the title. Go silent, go deep. And you're glad that I stayed on. You said a hundred times, Salty Troll, right? But you're glad that I stayed on, weren't you? Yeah, yeah I'm the man, Allo. <laughs> I, I kind of liked what you had to say, Allo, if that's actually really you. I, I did like what you had to say, actually. I heard part of that. Shit. Not all of it, but I heard enough. It was too long. I did hear enough on there. And you're right about how long it takes in court, all the shit, the intricacy involved all these procedures and so forth. I always ask myself, was it worth it? Well, in this particular case, it, it was worth it. I have no regrets whatsoever. My current knowledge and the current update on that situation, that it is going forward. And for those that don't believe that there are five counts, you're delusional, you didn't take your pills. I've showed the paperwork. And I said, I give the people the option of calling the Burley Courthouse yourself and finding out for yourself. And I think that was a fair statement. I think that was quite fair, actually. When you don't believe something, you research. A lot of you guys love to do the research. Yeah. But, you know, shit, I'm 69. Okay. I've been on here long enough. Now, look, I'm not saying that I didn't have any fun on here. Because I did. I mean, even so, I would not stay on that long if I wasn't getting something out of this. As I told you, man, study of human psychology. And I've learned a lot. A lot. And I know you think that's a lot of bullshit. But actually, it was real. Every show I did... Every show I listened to, every fight I heard on here was a learning experience for me. Watching people go after each other's throats, even when they formed alliances. And the alliances never really worked because the characters in the alliances were not always seeing eye to eye at all. And that was fun to watch. I had no roommate back in uh, Seattle. I never, and I've said this a number of times before. Of course, he was drunk. He said this, but he said, hire the handicapped. They're fun to watch. Well, there's a lot of handicapped on here and with nothing against people who are actually really handicapped. But I'm going to use that in a sense of terminology that handicapped meaning pretty fucked up. 
Okay. <laughs> Let's play it safe on words because we don't want to put down the handicapped people of the world. They don't want to be handicapped. They'd like to be well. But I think it's like too beyond help with some people on here. So Lloyd said, hire the handicapped. They're fun to watch. Well, it's been fun to watch and even fun to participate. But even fellas like me, good fella that I am, swirly, swirly, get caught up in that vortex. And I did. I certainly did. I certainly did. And, you know, that vortex has affected a lot of people, too. You get carried away sometimes. But I saw myself starting to become like some of the characters that I was totally adverse to on here. I said, nah, man, the last thing I want to be is them. I have respect for myself. I have dignity. I have a soul, if there's such thing as a soul. I have a conscience. And I think wasting how many years I got left in my life, and I think it should be quite a bit, is a total waste of time. I think seven and a half years. And when I give that figure, I always come up with seven and a half years. I really don't know how long. I really don't know how long it's been. I really don't. I really haven't uh, actually calculated how many years I've been on here, but I use seven and a half because oh, that's a good figure. It's probably around there somewhere. You know? Give your detractors something to look forward to. Nah, Mazda. I gave them a lot to look forward to. <laughs> no, Mazda, yeah, come back the first of the month. That would be like the most logical thing to do is do a, uh, do a show once a month or something, but you know, I've kind of contemplated that and I don't know if it's an, an idea even to do that, you know. I think if you're looking for information, what's happening with Barry, I mean, you guys are all fantastic researchers, right, Alo? You guys are the best of the business. Yeah, I'm out of Xanax. I'm not on any medication, Dennis Albright. Have your information. If you want to call Benadryl medicine, I guess you're probably right. Yeah, John Blaze, but that's not the real one. That's not the real John Blaze. Don't think so. John, you're quite a character yourself, Larry. Larry Evans, you're quite a character, I must say. To all the trolls I've loved before. I could start singing. I could do singing shows. Nah, not worth it. But shit, man, I'm in my late fucking 60s. And I never even thought I'd be on here as long as I've been. I'll be real honest with you. And by the way, for the fact, real fact, nobody's ever got me off here. That's a lie. Nobody has ever taken my channel down. I may have changed my name more times than I've changed my socks. But... Nobody, despite their claims, has ever taken my shot. By the way, Allo, I, I would like to take the credit. Unfortunately, I can't. I didn't get your show taken down, your uh, replacement show. No. I mean, I would love to take the credit for it, but unfortunately, it wasn't me. And actually, I don't know if I ever tried. But I could definitely tell you, and I'm exercising my memory about the past, I don't think you were... A big target of mine, really, to take down your show. It might have been other characters that are, are, but the past two shows that you had taken down by somebody, uh, that wasn't me. I mean, I'd love to take the credit for it, but I, unfortunately, I just really can't. Yeah. And Mazda says, I never believed in announcing a failure. Uh, excuse me. A departure. They usually fail. John Blaze says, I tried to emulate you, but I can't get it right. I'm a failure. Yeah. Well, most people on here are failures. That's why they're on YouTube. All the rest is just noise, Mazda says. I must go now, John Blaze. I'm in first class. Well, that's nice of you to be in first class, John. I wished you well in your endeavors. I hope that sometime you do wind up moving to the Philippines with your gal. But my thoughts on that are that once she's in the United States, I just really don't think she's going to want to come back. Unless she wants more of the city life. Because she's probably been used to living a rural life in the Philippines. Unless she's a bona fide city girl. And I think because of the fact you got farmland, there'll be a certain adjustment to that, more likely. But you know what? I, I still think that's going to get played out. Let's wish some best to Pekka Wood's new baby. I think she had the baby now, didn't she? And let's wish the best to, uh, to uh, Brevis. A very strange man indeed. But let's wish the baby well, that his girlfriend gives birth to a happy, healthy child. Kids have nothing to do with it. Okay. Anything else here, guys? Uh, I wonder what happened to all of those visits to Barry. I don't see anybody posting a visit because, well, in part that maybe they were told that they can't visit. You know, I make a couple calls now. And then. I do things silently, like I told you. I don't announce everything I do on here. And anything that I plan to do that's in the process right now, you're never going to hear about it. 
unless you hear about it from a different source, but it's not going to come from me. So, are you all happy? Are you all happy that I did your dirty work? Barry's in jail where he belongs. But like I said, it would have taken divine intervention to make his situation change. But then, you know, what do I know? I only know what I know from authorities. And that seems to be holding pretty strong. Something happens in between? I don't know. Then my guess be good as your guess. But I know I did my part. And I'm not sure much more I could do except, you know, attend his future court cases. And I have a pretty strong feeling that, you know, he's not going to be released from any kind of lockup for quite a long time. And I, I don't have a crystal ball and I can't tell you. I just know that when cases have to go to court, it could take two, three, four years. It's not easy. A lot of money involved with him that I just don't think he's going to raise that kind of money. And I think at this point, that's over. Ricky's not getting any more donations and he probably never will. And I just hope you all realize what Ricky was doing. I, I think most of you understand that now. Maybe you didn't. Okay. You know, uh, some, you know, I'm not above the law. Nobody's above the law. Neither one of us are above the law. But I've never done anything that was that drastic on here that would warrant me being attacked by so many people. A lot of people do take things quite personally on here. And I have at times too. But I'm just one of these guys when it hits close to home and it's unwarranted and it's unnecessary. Okay, that's when I take action. But you know what? I could fight the world, but the oxygen, exhaustion of oxygen the waste, time, energy, it's not worth it. Now, I'm not saying that I don't have anything else in the works. I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is what I'm doing is what I'm doing and silently, running silent, running deep. I'm very happy to say that where you people felt you had the strength and the expertise and the knowledge and research and everything else. All the king's men and all the king's horses couldn't put Humpty Dumpty together again when he fell off that wall. Your efforts, if any at all, to try to incarcerate Mr. Barry Lee Jordan from Alabama, USA, were not achieved by you because nobody wanted to get their hands dirty. And you didn't want him to leave anyway because you wanted entertainment. You'd live for the drama. And I must say that's a very sad statement to say that these people's lives are that inept. They have so much of a void in them that they have to be so miserable beyond belief to the umpteenth degree of doing and saying the things they do. Threats, attacking family. That's not my gig, you know? It's not my gig at all. Getting too old for this shit. But I will end this with saying that, well, I made you a promise. And I made myself a promise that I was going to seek justice for Barry Lee Jordan. And I have accomplished that task. And with that being said, I'm very happy. It takes a lot of pressure off my chest. For those that are waiting for me to stroke out, thinking they're attacking me, is going to pressure me. Dudes, seven and a half years. If I was going to stroke out from being attacked on here, it would have happened a long time ago. And by the way, is something I did find out that most people don't know on here. You ready for this? When Mick Fisher approached, just after he left, he found this out from somebody else. When Mick Fisher approached Ricky over at Bamboos at that time, the information I got later on from somebody was that something was radically wrong with Ricky. Radically wrong. His face was pale. It went pale and he was sweating profusely. Now, I think what happened is that his blood pressure probably spiked because he was also drinking. He was ready to stroke out at that point. I got this from a source. I'm not going to name the source, but he had an incident. And because of his health, I see that happening again. And I see a number of people on here that are facing the same future. We're all facing the future of death. That's, that's just it. We can't stop that. But there are people on here that are pretty nasty people and that they're probably on their way. It's something that really is not good when it comes to their health. They could have a heart attack or stroke out or liver failure or something. Now, I don't say this. I say this as a lay person because I'm not a professional. But I'm a good judge on health. I examine the age. I examine the known existing health conditions they have. I examine the amount of time that they spend being sedentary. And when I measure it up, it's just common sense. I don't need a doctor's degree to make this prediction. I could think of at least three people on here that have a very 
very short future ahead that will never bother anybody on here again ever hmm. what do you think of that okay guys for those that have followed me regularly hey my existing videos will probably still be up there yeah well i'd say something to that about big kevin but i'm going to refrain from saying that yeah he's he's going downhill fast he's got physiological and mechanical problems it's gonna it's gonna be his deterrent even if you have knee surgery knee, knee replacement it's never the same again you're gonna be very sedentary and being overweight and being sedentary is a recipe for disaster add the age as a factor in there well you do the math you figure out the logistics on this to see if i'm right or wrong and no aloe you've never intimidated me at all there's nobody in here has ever really intimidated me whatsoever but i wish you luck there's always going to be a new victim on here but i heard a few things that you said on the show i think that's what uh, roberto show we won't go into that guy i already said what i needed to say about him you were right about a few things on there and you were very wrong about many things on there. On one hand, you're saying it's a slim to none chance that a legal case against me that's ever going to work. You went about all the steps involved, and you were right. And how do I know you were right? Because I went through it. You think it was easy getting Barry to where he is now? You think it was easy getting approved five counts on this guy of cybercrime? If you're thinking that, you're very wrong. Very difficult. Time consuming, money consuming, paperwork trying to get a listening ear from any officials out there that are throwing you around at different departments waiting years just to have something heard to have a fact finding here god it's just not worth it it wasn't worth it but in the end in the end it was worth it in this particular case you're right i don't like the guy at all and family 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 should never be involved to the level that these people have taken to try to contact families talk shit about people's families but don't get me wrong i've said this in the past several times when i got angry and the few times that i have i said things that i would never normally say i'm human sometimes when you get pissed off you say things you don't mean to say no no there's no more apologies going on here i apologized in the past and i said there's no more apologies there is not going to be any more apologies i did what i had to do on here try to resolve things and when i couldn't I faced them head on, head on, and you know I did. Sometimes people need to be told and warned that certain things that you do are just not acceptable on anybody's level, not just mine. When it hits home with any of you people out there, you'll understand how I feel and how I was justified to go as far as I did with a YouTuber. Just went way over the line, as well as a few other people have recently. Not recently. It's been going on for a while. Okay, with that being said, I gotta go. My shows will still be on. I don't think there's anything that's gonna be groundbreaking that I need to come on for. I think because you guys are such professional researchers, something does go down with somebody, you're probably gonna know about it. Barry, Ricky, anybody that you might put on that list. And Michael Fazio, let me tell you something. Dude. I haven't forgotten you in a long shot. You're a very lonely man. At some point, I was almost feeling sorry for you. Almost got to that point, I was feeling sorry for you, but not anymore. You need the attention, even from people that don't like you. You need to talk to people. You need to spend hours on Skype with people. And if it gives you attention, you will go against me in a heartbeat, which you have. I laid off you for a long time. Then you came in there and you had to join the boys in a boys club and make all these little derogatory comments on people's shows. You think I haven't seen that? You're another one that has no future, Mr. Fazio. None. You're not a well man and you know it. I know exactly health-wise what's going on with you. Again, age, height, obesity level, how long, diet, okay? Of course the age. You're not well and that infection is going to consume you. It's going to consume you. Like a fucking piranha. But after new freshly thrown in dead meat in the water, it's going to consume you if you don't get a heart attack. You never really resent, presented that much of a problem to me in most recent times because I've seen your decline. I've seen what you look like. Your face is pale. You're not looking very well. You're not really my problem at this point, Michael Thomas Fazio. You are your own worst enemy you're welcome philippines guru you're welcome enjoy what shows i do on here and decide to keep on here no i spent a lot of time making these shows i'm not taking them off i make a couple of bucks on it anyway not much call it my piggy bank whatever but you guys want to fight with each other beat the shit out of each other you know 
just go for it. Okay. I said when it's time that I truly meant it. When I felt that the case with Barry was coming exactly where I wanted it to be, that's when I had said that I was waiting for that moment. And the moment has arrived. From the various information that I've received in the past three days, I'm very satisfied on what I hear, which simply means and translates into this. Did my job. I accomplished. Something I've been wanting to do for three years or more with this guy. And it happens. It's done. He doesn't face a good future. I can't see how he's ever going to get married. A lot of circumstantial stuff that's not going to allow him to get married. Why his woman is with him is beyond me. Just as beyond you. Maybe because he owes the family money. She didn't want to let him go that easy until he somehow finds a way to pay back his family for the money they had to put out on him. That's what I'm thinking. And Barry, I know you're listening on your phone, scumbag. How do you like me now, Barry? How do you like me now?